you're scaring me now. Can I ask you something technical? Yeah, of course. Is it okay to start your bread in a bread machine? Yeah, of course you can. Okay, um, it's not like it's not something you think is sacrilege because lots of people watching a like bread machine. Well, treat it like a mixer. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, the cheaper the mixers. So yeah. you can actually utilise it like a mixer, then take it out and then shape and do what you want with it. So it's a great way of getting around spending that hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a mixer. Yeah. Just get a bread machine and use it. Well, I've, I've, I've gone and got one. Have you? Yeah. Have you? I've got one. It's called Ed. <laughs> <laughs> so I have gone mad on, on baking because yeah. it was Sally who told me what were in bread. Do you remember that day? Yeah, in the supermarket. Yeah, in the process. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Injects, yeah. all sorts of stuff. Why did they stay fresh for three weeks? How does that happen? Oh, you know, it, it, I'm not saying what? supermarket yeah, bread. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah. gorgeous bread. I'm saying, you know, that's why you should really try and make your own. Not that I do. You've got to look at You've got to be sensible <laughs> about even... even uh, uh, you know, sliced bread, for instance. If you put it in anything in a bag, if you make one of my breads, slice it up and put it in a bag, the, you always feel a loaf, don't you, when you go into the yeah, shop? Yeah, yeah. And actually, you're not looking for the crust. You're looking to see how soft it is. Now, that's it, actually yeah. opposite mm -hmm. of what a bread should be. Because yeah. normally, you, you come out and get a loaf and go, crap, crap, bang, bang, bang. <coughs> that's perfect. Yeah. But if, if you put one of my heavy baked loaves in a bag, it will soften up. That's a fact. So... Actually, it's not a bad thing. It's just down to the, the volume of fat that goes into some of the breads. If you see a high volume, it just means they're trying to keep it longer. Mm. But you can still buy a sliced bread that's just as good as some of the other stuff. Mm. But just be careful of what you're eating. Mm. Now, is it all about the kneading? Because you're all about very good at that. I've seen you in action. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all that. It is. Is it's, it a skill, that? It is. It is. I mean, I, I'm teaching a couple of lads at my place at the moment of work because some trainees came in. One lad came in and go, give us a job. I want a job. <laughs> I said, all right. So I gave him a shot and I'm teaching him at the moment. It's about ripping the dough. Mm. And it's about tearing it, building up that gluten strand and making a very wet dough. In fact, um, the wetter the better. Um, because actually, when you're, making, when you're making bread, stop it. When you're making bread, you're looking for, you're looking for that gluten strand. Right. So it, it, it's got to be nice and... It's working loose. for me as this, is it? <laughs> Bake Off.